Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of shopping cart project and in the last video tutorial you know that uh, why we uh, why we create uh, and why we add a view component uh, in the project because when we logged out into the system the cart value will not update it so here we have uh, the code and that code you can you uh, you can uh, see uh, by using the unit of work uh, we can fetch the detail from the database table so just resolve first of all by using control and uh, period key on your keyboard uh, resolve the namespace error using shopping cart dot data access dot repositories so here we have a constructor cart view component and initialize that uh, in the constructor we uh, initialize unit of work and after that we have a uh, invoke async method in the view component file that return i view component result and uh, the first thing uh, here we have two lines by using the claims identity and the claims you get the uh, current logged in user information so uh, by using the claims dot value we get the current logged in user details so first of all check if claims is not equals to null I mean to say that the user is not uh, user is signed in into the system. If the side signed in, then first of all check HTTP context dot session dot get integer thirty two and the get the value. And if the session card is not equals to null, I mean to say that if session have some values, then return the session values uh, by using this HTTP context dot session dot get integer thirty two session card. Suppose if your session card is null. Then you can say that uh, HTTP context dot session dot set integer thirty two uh, set the session card value by using the unit of work dot card dot get all and uh, application user ID that is the claims dot ID and dot to list and dot count okay and after that uh, get uh, the uh, session values okay suppose user is not logged in into the system so uh, claims is null then session uh, value will be clear okay so by using this http context dot session dot clear and return the integer value in the session after that you can create a new folder in the shared folder so just here we have a view components file and in under the view under the shared folders we can check add a new comp new directory um, new folder components Okay, so here we have a new directory components and under the component directory you can create a new uh, folder and the name is uh, similar to your uh, view component that is card. Okay, so under the card just add a new item that is the view, empty view you can say. So here we have a razor view and the name is default. CSS team and in the default.css tml file you can add model that is a teaser and here you can see that uh, here we have a layout.css tml file under the views folder under the shared layout.css tml file and here we have and here we have a code that is this so just cut cut it from here and in the default.css tml file just paste it here and you can use at here at the red model okay that's fine now after that you can remove the code from um, the layout.css tml file so if this view and here we have a list of cart item like that and just calling from here at the rate of weight component dot invoke async 
and the name of the component is cart okay that's fine okay so now save this and run your project in browser wait for some time and I will show you the result It's taking too much time to run your run the project okay that's fine now project is running okay that's fine now click on the login button and log into the system smith .com. login and here we have a cart is zero uh, two and just logged out and zero Thank you very much.